Hello everybody, and welcome back to more European Universals 4. As always, I'm Warren, and last time we got a new king, I think. And other stuff. Our legitimacy is still terrible, but our king is not bad, actually. 541 with a 663 heir means our royal family is actually looking pretty top-notch. At least for a while. Um... Let's see, yeah, you headed back home. We are in a losing war against France, and while we have 0% war score with France because we traded some battles back and forth, um, ultimately resulting in a sterner loss for me than for France. Austria, the war leader, is at a negative 65, and I'm sure they will come to peace soon. France dominating the battle on... Uh, mainland Europe, whereas Austria is taking colonies here and in the Caribbean. He's on a uh, Caribbean island here. The Dominican Republic? Or Dominica? No, uh, DR is over here, right? I don't know. They're on an island. I think I have a transport fleet stationed somewhere that I should probably find. Oh, I did make it a ways last time, didn't I? Um, here they are. They're this far from home with no way home. Uh, did I ever get fleet basing rights in Swahili, I wonder? I feel like I did. Yeah, I did. I don't know if they can actually make it home in time. Uh, Pigu will not go for it, neither will them. Ceylon, who we will very soonly conquer, also won't go for it. So I guess run home as quick as you can. This sea zone will actually kill you. But so will spending any longer. Let's get here and reassess the situation. This one is probably just lost. We might be able to save these two. Alright. Yeah, no. That's fine. No, no, no. You guys are fine. We totally make it home. We lose 14% this month, and the big question is, can you get home? Yeah, now you're in safe harbor. Alright, sick. The Hansa declared war on someone, and I actually clicked the button before I could see who. Hanover, Brunswick, and Trier. Um, Hanover is understandable, and I guess Trier is actually advisable, and Brunswick down here. Alright. Um, it looks like we rebuilt an army to compensate for the one that we lost. We still have two units that we could get. Um, and where's my rebel stompers? There you are. Aw, oh, yeah. Alright, rebel stompers. Roll out. I need to set the timer, too. I forgot all about that. Um, as soon as I remember how to. There we go. Fantastic. Is that the right word? Eh, it looks like it. Alright. And then I need an in I need an Indies fleet or army. I still have like five guys and five transports up here, right? I certainly do. And uh, they can hang out for a while. Uh, we need more trade or diplomatic pack. France accepted peace with Champagne. Looks like they speeded. What? Nothing? Wrestle? I don't actually know. Champagne was definitely bigger. It was probably like that one. It was probably, uh. Probably this and Wrestle. Maybe Vermandois. Our revolt risk is still disgustingly high. So we will still patrol the waters. Rebels, um, there's nobody I could really force into a union. Uh, I could make the big play for Austria, but I don't think I actually care that much. One day I'll get an advisor that reduces my revolt risk, and then we will have a stable country. Um, these guys, there's not so much more for them to explore right now. We found Ceylon, 
we found that Ceylon is still independent, which is the big thing. Ceylon's really going to be our jumping point into uh, the Indian Ocean and further east. Uh, and we are losing money at an extraordinary rate. Uh, I guess we're just not making enough. Our military, yeah, I guess we'll tune that down a little bit lower. Stability's plus three. We're just not making enough money. I'm not really sure how to fix that. Is there a hotkey to attach to transport? It doesn't look like it. It should be. Brandenburg is now in a military coalition against us. Speaking of coalitions, we have England, Lithuania, Brandenburg, and the Hansa. And all of the revolt in the world. One in Orkney. Orkney can be. Yeah, Orkney is going to be taken care of. And you guys can actually uh, do that. And then our transport fleet can come to Gotland. Probably better. We're still in the war with France, which pisses me off. Yeah, Brandenburg accepted peace with Liege. Did they take Liege? They did not. Yeah, I know. We're losing money. It's really sad. Still have some natives out here, but it's going to take me a while to um, get that far. And I think when these become full-blooded provinces and we start getting the uh, the tariffs from them, that'll help a lot with our economy. As soon as they get home, Orkney revolts again. It's pretty nice. You guys are probably headed home. Yep. Battle for Orkney again. France is still hanging out in Poland, doing what they do. And there's not so much for me to actually do at this point. It's really just rebels. That's all I'm really doing. Watching my guys go kill rebels. Like, all right, go kill those rebels. Yep. Kill them. All right. Good job, lads. Head home. When they get home, they're like, ah, oh, we got more rebels. Oh, no, we don't have any more rebels. We're rebel free. And Swedish nationalists, I think, just go away over time. Uh, once we get out of this war, our war exhaustion will start going down again, which will help. Uh, Grant, two bark versus my one. Holton, no, I wanted to actually see like where that happened. Uh, up here. Well, you know what? That's great. Good job, France. You guys are the best. Um, Norwegian nationalists will go away over time, although it looks like they're getting scarier and scarier. Scandinavia Games, a plane on Lewenberg it is this one, which is actually really nice. A lot of people have a claim or core on this. Like, a lot of people. Um, I can't declare we're on the Hansa still, and even if I could... Augsburg, Ulm, and Utrecht, as well as England, Lithuania, Brandenburg, and... Oh, four of them. Yeah, them. Alright, that makes sense. France has accepted peace. Augsburg will seem Pontau to France. Austria will cede the French Comanche to France. Austria will cede Panau to France. Austria will cede the core Hamburg to the Hansa. For Hamburg. <laughs> All right. All right. They gave away Hamburg. Those sons of bitches. After all of that. After all that tech. After all that administrative power I put in there. I've got to hate them for that. Maybe... Ah, oh, tons of bitches. 
So maybe I am going to war with the Hansa right away. Augsburg, Ulm, Utrecht, England, Lithuania, Brandenburg, and Austria will protect them. Would Austria join my side? No. Huh. How many diplomats do I have free? One is working to improve relations with Pomerania, which is fine. Uh, I guess I'm going to improve relations with Lithuania and Brandenburg. Yeah, we're not so far off on Brandenburg. I guess we'll improve, improve relations like that. Hopefully get, those, get them off my back. All of my allies, if I can call them that, continue to screw me over in these wars. Like at every turn. At every single turn. I get, I, I just, they keep screwing me. It's really disappointing. Like, I don't, I don't even trust the AI anymore. Like, just reduced revolt risk. I know you exist. I've bought you before. You just don't exist in this game. Shit, I guess we'll just, like, go exploring. Oh, no, England left the military coalition against us. That, that helped, like, a lot. And they conquered Ceylon, so we don't even have Ceylon as an option. We can still go conquer frickin' India. What are they gonna do? Nothing. It just means we're gonna have to send more soldiers over. I was gonna send, like, five dudes over. Like, alright, you guys are hanging out at Ceylon for the rest of the game. Apparently this is an open sea zone. Alright. No. Oh. Anyone? One of our colonies is now self-sustaining. This one, yes. Give them the cores. How long will it take? 51? Nine years, really? Alright, whatever. Lithuania left the military coalition against it. Yeah, hands of the Hansa are gonna get shit on right away here. This is the biggest Savoy I've seen in my entire life, too. They have province and Dauphin. France doesn't have claims on any of those. Huh. The big Savoy. They gave away Hanau and oh the French Comonte. The Hansa are currently at war with Brunswick and Trier. Take these guys down Holstein. Um it doesn't appear that the Hansa have a fleet. They have a couple sets of ships, but my trade like uh, protectors can totally take care of them. Not too much difficulty. And sure, that looks good. Um, and then, like, get up in there and then come home. And yeah, I believe in you guys. <sighs> what do we do over here? Do we go to the Hans? Brandenburg is still in a coalition against us. They're allied with England. But. We're at a hundred relation with them. Yeah, alright. Bring uh, the Lithuanian guy home too. And... How do we kick them out of it? If we look at the Hansa... A core Hamburg. Augsburg, Ulm, Ultrecht, which are not a problem. Brandenburg, which I guess isn't a problem. I guess we'll just conquer Brandenburg too. Who cares? If Austria joins in, then Austria joins in. Um, I may be able to fight Austria in a, like a super defensive war. Uh... Uh-huh, sure they are. If I could give them military access, then they definitely wouldn't join. But this is an EU3. You can't just give everyone military access. Be like, be happy. Don't invade me. 
Oh, uh, we can get new ideas, but neither of these are as important as Barracks and Caravel's tech. Uh, our new tech is Counting House and Spy Agency, but if we're going to war right away, we're going to need that administration power for cores. We already have a course here. Uh, Mecklenburg will be an expensive core, and I will take Mecklenburg. Oh, I might give it back to Pomerania. Yeah, I definitely give it back to Pomerania. It's a sick idea. I'm gonna freaking integrate Pomerania in no time here anyway. Started. Yeah, we've almost we're almost to 50 years, and then I can start integrating Pomerania. Uh. This expansion would go up, which would suck, but we kind of have to deal with that. Reconquest here, what else? I have a claim in Lundberg that I could take for free, and I also have a claim in Stade. And I have a claim here, I do not have a claim here actually, which needs to happen right now in Lübeck. We're going, we're going for the gold. And we are going. National decisions. Uh, we're a little bit... Spain has declared war on France, and we lost an explorer. God bless him. Uh, uh, there you guys are. Yeah, go home, guys. You lost your leader. Uh, we probably won't actually make it home. Okay, no, okay. We're in supply range, we're good. And Brandenburg left the military coalition against us. Which I'm actually kind of disappointed with now. I was going to give Mecklenburg to Pomerania. But uh, I guess we can just freaking take them over later, who cares. Uh, Hanover, Brunswick, Twire, Austria, you are not at war with anybody. Go to war with somebody, hurry. I have stuff to do. Spain and France, huh? And Spain's allied with England, Lorraine, Switzerland, Portugal. Alright. I actually don't know if France can win this. France did have like six war exhaustion at that end of the last one. Um, now that our war exhaustion has settled, our revolt risks have gone down considerably. Uh, we will go ahead and recruit one general who is sick, who will lead us to victory against Zihanza. Aw. You know, I want to get you ideas. I just can't. I can't afford it. And we are not ahead on this at all, so we'll be getting that next, too. We're at tech level 11. They are at... Tech level 12, so it's gonna hurt. We got him outnumbered by a bit. Um, Austria. How are we feeling these days? Plus 44. I feel like that could be doing better. Uh, you don't want anything. Covered actions. Let's improve relations with Austria. We still have a a little bit before we can actually declare on the Hansa. I want my claim on Lubeck before we declare. Um, diplomatic technology cost. Yes, actually, that's a great idea. That'll actually probably get us our diplomatic tech. It will. Trade efficiency and trade range are also good. I don't know if they're as good as some of these. I'll just deal with that later. Um, I also know that we can... Probably send a colonist now. So we will send a colonist there. And are you within trade range? No, you are not. You are still working. You are almost done. And I'm not sure if it's worth taking stuff in Chesapeake Bay, especially up here in like proper Chesapeake Bay. I don't know if we want to go ahead and just, like, complete Hudson Bay first. Yeah, Lubeck. Terrible. We know. 
And I think I'm actually going to go ahead and take this, because I need to get closer to my new idea so I can get my uh, religious idea, I think is what I was going for. Religious ideas are very important for me. So I can go to war with the Indians, or the Native, the Indians and the Native Americans, both kinds of Indians I'm going to go to war with. And it's going to be great. Uh, Syria is getting taken over by the Ottomans. Really hard to see this line. It looks like I wish this was more split on the Nile. It look a, these borders would look a lot better if they were actually split on the Nile. But for whatever reason, they aren't. Uh, these guys can't really do anything until I get them a new explorer, and I don't want to do that just yet. Gain a claim on Dorpat. Don't enter into a coalition against me. I realize I insulted you, but you got bigger problems. Novgorod is conquering your shit. Don't do it. Over here we have... Make a core. It'll take 105 months. Perfectly fine. Uh, these guys can come back here. You guys need a patrol route. Something like that. That'll do for now. Uh, Ungava, Hexholm, and Stade. Oh, I lost my claim on Stade. That's very disappointing. Uh, Tin Prestige, Tin Papal Influence. I'll take the Prestige. People are accepting unity with Austria. Austria's not in any wars yet. Disappointing. The Hansa is still losing their war. Hesse is declaring on Utrecht. Which is a one of the Hansa's allies, which is great, because it's just one less person we have to worry about. Not that they were going to be a big deal uh, anyway, but still... It's nice to see them not being here. Oh, I think we're actually like almost ready for war. Our legitimacy is going back up. We're not in the red anymore. Our revolts are at like an all-time low. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. What am I waiting for religious idea-wise? Has a spell against all pagans. One missionary is going to be helpful. Stability cost is great. Missionary strength is great. All great, all great, all great. Everything there is great. <sighs> Ansbach and Moonster. Hopefully, this is going to be a quick war. Because I really need to declare one of the Hans. And this episode is over. So there you have it. Gearing up for war. After we're in a good place against the Hansa, our thing is at 50%. So hopefully we get our claim about the same time that the war with Austria is over. The war we are in with our buddy Austria is over. So we can declare war on the Hansa. Take Hamburg, Lübeck, Leuenberg, and that probably be it. Yeah, taking three is going to really piss off Pomerania, which is going to set us back for... Uh, what's it called? What do I want to do with Pomerania? I want to integrate them. I want to integrate Pomerania. That's what I want to do to them. I want them to be my friend. Gearing up. For war. There we go. So, yeah. I hope you guys are still enjoying the Europa Universalis 4. I know I am. It's great. Even if it gets boring in between our wars. And even if my AI allies piss me off at every turn. It's still a great game. Pretty soon all of this is going to be ours, and all of 
this is going to be ours, and all of this is going to be ours. And everything's going to be great. That's what we're hoping for, at least. So, uh, yeah. I don't know if I already ended this video. Thank you guys for watching. You're the best. Don't let anybody ever tell you otherwise. I'll see you next time.